What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I am Alex, and it is my honor and privilege to have Matt Damsel of Damsel Interactive here. Uh, we've actually talked about him before. I'm going to you know, hand it over to him as this video goes on, and he's going to talk all about his game, uh, Cooper Court of Thieves. We've talked about it uh, on this channel. It's the game Made in Dreams. I think it's a phenomenal idea. It is, uh, it's easily, if you want to look at it as a fallback, if we never get a Sly Cooper game in our lives uh, again, which I think we'll get one. But uh, he's doing an incredible, incredible job. People have tipped me off to him in the past and said, like, you should look at this. Like, there's this guy making a Sly Cooper game. He's, he's, uh, he's <laughs> I don't know, fulfilling all of our hopes and dreams. So, Matt, thank you so much for being here with me. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me. It's a, it's an honor. Well, so I, I guess we can just start it by, I mean, walking us through it. Uh, we've talked, I kind of did, you know, a little summary uh, of, of what the game is going to be. I showed some clips last time um, of your game in Dreams, but how did this, you know, in terms of maybe becoming a Sly Cooper fan, how did it come about making this game? I mean, Dreams is a is a popular uh, platform for, for people that are able to do this, but this is one of those examples of you know, that next kind of step. Like, this is a legit thing. This isn't, like, one stage. This isn't something, you know, that was thrown together in a day. This is, like, a legit thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm definitely trying to make this a, uh, you know, a complete Sly 5, if you will. Um, so, I've been a Sly fan my whole life. About seven years old, I discovered it. Um, thanks to my cousin David, who, you know, did, brought this zany game about a raccoon over to my house and uh it just uh it sits in my heart ever since as soon as i heard that there was a a, a game creation tool that was so user friendly to people like dreams where you could just you know learn from the ground up on how a game is made in a more understandable capacity i was like I'm like i i want to make a sly game i've been wanting to make a sly game since sly 4 ended uh because as a sly fan i've always felt like i had this uh story in my head on where i would want to take it and uh like the the progression of where i think it could go because a lot of people will usually um sort of write off thieves in time and say that it's like you know either not canon or it's uh it doesn't fit into the sly, you know, the theme or the the style. And while I do have certain issues with Thieves in Time, my main memory with it is largely positive and uh it's the magic of that time when that first came out. It was like I you know, it could do no wrong in my eyes at the time. <laughs> I mean, you play it a little longer and you see, you know, there's there's some flaws and things, but you you start to you really appreciate that time that it gave you and uh I wanted to pick up from there and uh just had this this uh idea for a sequel that would um be following the next generation of Cooper because we have always seen the the past you know we we focus on the past with the ancestors and um it's, I think it was time to bring it into a new generation Nice. Yeah, I mean, it, from from everything that that's shown of it so far, it looks uh, incredible. So, how did you, or even like right now? I mean, obviously, it's not it's not done. But how did you kind of tackle actually doing it? Like, did you know what you were doing in dreams right away, or um, you know, was has it gotten easier as time has gone on? Yeah. So, dreams. Uh, when I, when I first picked it up, it was one of those things that was. Uh, pretty hard to learn at first it, i say it's user friendly but it at the same time it still has quite a learning curve because it is it is like building a game from the ground up um there is there the only i guess uh shortcut about it is that it gives you the the tools where you don't have to code you still have to program everything but you don't have to do the coding they give you the tools for that so when when you jump into it they give you tutorials and things on how to start tried to uh, learn as best as I can following tutorials online, things of that nature. And uh, my main thing was just that I had the drive to continue doing it. And I have an extreme, I guess, patience for um, for for detail when it comes to something that I'm really passionate about. So uh, it, it, it just one of those things that evolves over time. You know, now I'm a lot uh, more knowledgeable on the software than I was when I first started. For sure. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, as I played it, Dreams was one thing for me that I was interested in going into the game, and then I 
the game released day one. I actually didn't buy it. Most uh, most Sony first party games I do, and then I saw the first couple just days of reactions. I was like, I have to, I have to try. It. But I only played. But that's why I really like your videos, actually. Of uh, you know, not only is it showing Sly Cooper stuff, but also how you get like how how does the how does the cane actually get to where it is? And it's super cool to kind of see that um, I don't know, like sped up and, and see the entire process. So where are you on it? Now, any updates you want to give or, uh, you know, windows of time of when people can experience it? Yeah, so the game is still fairly early in development in the grand scheme of things. Uh, it, it's, it's come a long way since I released the first teaser for it. Um, there's still a long way to go, but there's some really exciting updates on the way. Um including uh, some new character models, uh, first look at one of the main maps, the hub worlds, uh, and uh, let's say a, uh, maybe maybe a, a mode of gameplay that I'll be teasing pretty soon. Um, I'm really excited. It's, it's uh... So, I mean, I can't give like a official release window yet because I don't really want to... I don't want to set that because you have to, you know, once you set that, you're stuck to it. And, and this is a passion project that's sort of evolving over time. And, um, you know, it's one of those things that it, it'll it'll get done when I'm positive that it's uh, what in my own <laughs> perception, a worthy sequel to the franchise. So I don't want to rush it. But I also, you know, I'm not planning on spending 10 years on it or anything. But uh, let's let's hope for maybe. Uh, a playable demo maybe within this year hopefully that's that's the goal just seeing it exist <laughs> is exciting to to me i think i think a lot of people too honestly i think even you know like i said to to fill in almost a gap of uh of if there was no sly cooper game coming but even with the sly cooper game coming i think these are the kind of things uh i think creators or just in general like these are the things that we should be supporting you know what i mean because th this is where like you still i mean it's it's your vision um you know if, if people like <laughs> call you up and say you need to include this thing or that thing you're not you know you don't have to do it but it's a you know it's somebody on the ground level someone who truly truly loves sly cooper um that's doing it and i don't really see how that can be you know a bad thing in any way so I, i'm like I said, ever since the first time I saw it, I mean, I wasn't making any of that stuff up. Ever since the first time I saw it, it looks incredible. I'm I'm willing and ready to play it and, and, and help promote it or, or do whatever <laughs> needs to be done um, at any time. So I, I think it's just uh, in, insanely good work, you know, all the way around. Thank you so much, man. I do appreciate that. Um, and yeah, and that's the, that's the main thing is just, um, you know, it's a nonprofit project. It's a uh, fan-made you know, it, the, the, the best way to support it is just making people aware of it. That's really, that's really it. Um, just, uh, spread the word to other Sly fans and, you know, maybe, maybe they get some kind of, uh, thrill out of the, uh, <laughs> the excitement of a, of a, hopefully the excitement that I felt when Sly Thieves in Time was announced, you know, I, 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 it's kind of a dream of mine to create that level of excitement for for someone out there for this game because i'm kind of on that level myself when i'm creating it you know it's it's like i'm i'm seeing like a, a, a the sly sequel i never thought would get made you know is it's kind of forming in front of me slowly sure but you know it, it, it is happening and it's it's i'm like i don't know i'm just really proud of what i'm seeing and i'm so uh kind of honored to have people respond the way they have yeah no i mean it's uh i i remember even with with thieves in time like i remember being there in the store and and, and i i think I, I bought it at gamestop and just that that pure excitement and like you said i i was actually kind of the same way of you know it could do no i i noticed immediately like this isn't the same and uh, i don't like this as much as two or three uh, you know at the time mm -hmm. but i was like i'm just so excited you know, to be back, and my childhood friend and I would always play these games, so we played this one together, and, you know, we were uh, younger teenagers at the time, too, so it kind of felt like coming back to this franchise, so it was, it was super cool. Let me ask you before, uh, you know, we get off in terms of the, uh, you know, Sly Cooper, like, Sony-owned thing, uh, you know, what do you think? Do you believe, you know, I've talked, obviously, a lot on the channel about, I, I'm pretty confident in something official of a, of a Sly Cooper thing coming uh, or maybe at least being announced at the end of this year so do you think we could ever get these games in terms of a remaster or what you know what's your opinions on 
like their version of a Sly Five? Uh, that I mean, I I have my thoughts on it. I think likely. I mean, you know, I, I'm I have no I have no inside knowledge or anything like that. But I think there is something being made. I for a long time was like, eh, you know hints we get a hint every year and nothing happens but i do think that something is being made i think it's probably a game um do i believe that it's a, a sly five i don't really believe so personally i think that it's going to be uh a remake since i believe that that's kind of the era we're in with video games right now is like a lot of these old classic video games are being remade for a new generation um from the ground up you know, I uh, I'm a big fan of Destroy All Humans, <laughs> and I know I know you uh, you like that game as well. Yeah, and uh, you know the things that they're doing with that, and uh, you know even in I think 2016 somewhere around there with uh, Ratchet and Clank when they first uh, tried to reboot the franchise in a way. Um, that's where I see Sly going. I don't I don't truly believe that it'll be a Sly Five only based on um, the. I guess the uh, fan reception of Thieves in Time, it was like half and half. I feel like 50% loved it, 50% hated it with a passion for some reason. And, um, you know, uh, and, and it's also been such a, a, a gap in time, I believe even longer than it was between three and four. Um, just I don't see it being economical for them. I think it's probably going to be a thing that uh, tries to revive it for a new crowd. And, uh, you know, even if that's, not ideal i mean anything sly related is going to be welcome you know what i mean yeah no th at this point we'll take literally literally anything we can get well <laughs> i, I want to thank you for being here uh, i'll hand it off to you one more time to just say anything that you want to say but you know you have I'll, i'm gonna plug or i'll have your stuff in the description too for uh anybody to check it out you have a twitter obviously you have your youtube channel so if you want to plug anything or just you know say the final goodbyes and uh, go ahead yeah so uh Thank you for having me on. This was uh, th this game is in my eyes a uh, a, a canon Sly Five. Um, it, it's one of those things that I think you know people can give it a shot, and if, if it's if it fits to their liking, they can uh, they can have it be their their canon. You know, whether a, a, an official Sly Five comes or not, um, we'll have something and. Uh, this new story based on uh, the the children of Sly and Carmelita, um, I think it's going to kind of give the the Sly world a new spin, and uh, I can't wait for people to play it. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait till I can play it. It's still <laughs> it's still pretty early, but uh, I think it's going to be something that people can really have a, a a great memory with if 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 all goes well and uh <laughs> i i i just i can't wait awesome well i, I want to thank you again for being here uh, like i said you can follow matt on twitter on his youtube channel he posts you know occasional updates of what's going on with the game i'll keep people updated as well and uh, and like i said when this thing gets closer and stuff or even a demo or anything like we'll definitely i'll definitely be covering it on the channel you got my support i think you got a lot of fan uh sly fan support as well so thank you again matt for being here thank you all to the audience uh, for watching and i will see you all on the next video